Hey everybody, Katrina here with Gal Gone Camping, and I am behind on the videos, you guys. If you've noticed, I am behind, uh, but you know what? I've been a little bit distracted. Been a little bit distracted, and um, I'm just gonna say that the you never know what the Lord's gonna put into your life and what he's gonna do in your life. That's all I'm gonna say about that. But anyway, uh, trying to get back into posting some videos here. And um, so today, this video is gonna be a tour. Finally, I've been promising you guys a full tour of the um, of the minivan micro camper uh, that I've named Little It. You guys who've been following along, you know the story on the name. Um, I've owned, I started doing this in 2008, and um, I started out with a, uh, a 1989 um, GMC high top van, and then I've had it for several years, and I named it uh, the Edame after my grandmother, and then... Um, Later on, I had another high top. It was a 1992, I believe it was, 92 um, Ford Econo line, E150. And I uh, had that for almost nine years. Man, I went all over the place between those two vans. I went all over the place uh, and loved it. Loved it. It was great. I love the high top vans. It's perfect for a camper. And then uh, a few years ago, I bought, I, I sold the, well, I still had the, the second high top van, the Ford, but I wanted to step it up. I'd never uh, experienced a camper. And so I bought a little a vintage travel trailer, which is what I wanted was a, a little vintage model. I thought I'd never find it, but I did. And it was a 1974 Bonanza Pinto travel trailer. And I had it for several years, loved it, went on several trips with that, uh, decorated it out, you know, in my style and had a ball doing that. But I uh, sold it last October. And um, because I had started, you know, um, using this minivan a lot. Because as much as I love that little camper, um, and it, for me, it was just more work than what I wanted to do. And that was part of the what I wanted to find out through this whole process of dif different camping vehicles, RVs, or whatever. I wanted to see what was going to suit me the best. And for me, uh, because I'm primarily a solo traveler. Um, the minivan micro camper was the best for me. So that's what I've been doing. And um, so I'm going to, I'm going to turn this around and, and give you all the full tour. And there's still some things I'm going to do here. You guys, it's not complete, but I don't, is it ever? I mean, you guys who do this, you know, it's a never ending process to, uh, you just keep changing things. You keep finding what you uh, want to do, what works best for you, what you need, what you don't need. So it's, it's never ending. But I've, I've had this set up now for, for quite a while, even though there are some things that I am going to do. But I'm going to turn it around here and show you what I have done. Maybe you can get some ideas and just want to share it with you. Hang on just a moment. Okay. <clears throat> and it is a little dirty right now, you guys. I just washed it not long ago, but these uh, this pollen, you know, falling all these trees. I try my best to keep it parked where it's not directly under a tree, but it's hard to do. And uh, so it is, it's a little dusty with the pollen and such, but... This is a 2016 Dodge Grand Caravan, and I bought it in 2017. Just had 31,000 miles on it when I bought it, and uh, I have really put it into use with uh, with the camping. So, up here and show you. We'll start with the front passenger side or, or driver side. So, you know, this one thing about these uh, caravans, they have cubbies everywhere and I love that so down here I have there's a flashlight down there I keep extra plastic bags for garbage and whatever there's a level down there a hammer I actually had the, the level and the hammer and stuff in here when I had when I would pull the camper um, but I just left it in there because hammer is also a good weapon and you can use it for whatever you know just another tool that you might need and there is some pepper spray. So these are things that's handy, you know, to keep, um, that you can get to very easily. So like I said, it's a little messy, you guys. Um, just look over that if you would. Over here, well, over there in that cubby there, that little middle cubby, I keep extra napkins. Um, so under this uh, seat, I have, a, I have a little container that has just some, you know, utility tools. There's a saw knife, um, tire, pressure gauge, um, air, air, little air compressor, keep that right there out of the way. Um, over here is a little power inverter. 
so it fits perfectly down in, in that little um, side space there so that's a 300 watt power inverter it's got two plug-ins on it there for 110 so it comes in very handy um, I keep my little Lucy light there um, because it's always charging there so I can get sunlight through the windshield so I don't keep it there you know when I that's just in drive mode or I keep it there when I'm traveling and then when I get parked I just use it wherever I need to so in this cubby here I have stuff again that's easy you know quick access um, a sanitizer there and sunglasses and chapstick and um, my insurance and registration and um, so things like that that's always there something to clean my glasses with um, Oh, there's my girl camper card. I belong to the girl camper group, you ladies, if you ever uh, want to check that out. It's great. They have events all over the country, and it's a lot of fun. Um, got to have some pretties. Here's just some things to keep on my dangling from my from my uh, rearview mirror. That is from a trip there uh, in West Virginia. Uh, one of our girl camper trips when we visited Blinko Glass Company. We have a little memento here. You could pick one. And mine was on the Mothman. And there is going to be a uh, video coming up on that later. Later this fall. <laughs> so excited about that. Um, here is my happy camper with the van. My happy camper sign with the fringe, you guys. Because, you know, my style is western, hippie, gypsy, boho theme vibe style that's me uh, right here's some flower headband i got from the hippie fest a few years ago in ohio which was fantastic love my little mementos and there is what it's all about y'all mm -hmm. the van lifestyle i mean that is the ultimate right the vw bug or vw bus wouldn't that be awesome to have a real one um but i pretend like i do have a vw bus and this is it so I pretend this is my VW bus. <laughs> it's good enough for me. All right, let me flip it back around here. And I don't know why this won't let me flip. Hang on. Okay, and that big flower over there is a beautiful red poppy, silk poppy. And that came out of the camper. Um, that is my favorite flower. And I just wanted to keep it in here just to brighten up everything. And I really, I want to have it fixed to where the stem is going down like it's coming out of the dash, but I haven't gotten to that part yet. And hang on, we'll go on to the other side. Okay, so over here on the passenger side, in this cubby over here, got some fix it flat, fix a flat, got some more um, uh, plastic bags for garbage. You can never have too many of these plastic bags. There is there is my garbage um, over here. Um, I have this little box. This is another thing that came out of the uh, camper. And it has a western design on it i actually have a set of i think about four of those that i've had forever and i love those great little storage boxes i have different sizes but i keep this one here that's just easy access if i while i'm driving i can just reach over here and get whatever there's a hair clip a mask if i still was to need that uh, napkins um, tissue and of course my tape and paper and pen you guys know i'm a writer and i am never far away from paper and pen. I've got to have have it close where I can write down my thoughts and song ideas and whatever. So, here is an atlas uh, that I always keep handy. And that's trying to come apart. Hang on. So, you know, uh, I love my GPS. That is the best thing that was ever invented. But there is nothing like an atlas, too. You've got to have an atlas, too. And I, I'm telling you, I mean, my mama and me, uh, back when I was growing up, we would read books and study maps and stuff and uh, that's part of what got the bug in me to travel but i love maps um here's my little travel buddy i don't know if you can see her oh yeah there she is this is lucy this is lucy and she sits right up there i've got her secured with a uh a zip tie there and she keeps me company when we're on the road say hello lucy all right now now we're gonna go back around here to the other side Okay, so coming in from this side uh, into the, the middle of the van on the pass on the driver's side, um, this 
cowhide rug is another thing that came out of my camper and I just put it down there recently. I'm, I'm gonna have to adjust it later but because I already had got this little pink and the colors in here is kind of like gray, pink, um, black and gray and then I you know accented it with, with things I already had with the like I said the western hippie boho uh, theme um, cowgirl type thing so that's that's my jam and that's why I like to decorate. I'm a huge Route 66 fan, so I've got that in there. But anyway, here is another one of these boxes. It's the Western uh, Western um, Design box, and I keep that in there for shoes. So when I step up in here, I put my shoes in there. Uh, you know, if you've got a wet umbrella or whatever, or just whatever, it's a really uh, handy little place just to set stuff out of the way. Um, I keep a jacket here. Regardless of the weather, a lightweight, just a little lightweight jacket because the they, the air conditioner is off the hook. You guys, I freeze to death, and they keep it so cold in these places through the summer. It's absolutely ridiculous. And here's a little raincoat, so I always have that handy and stuff out of the way. Um, the little curtains here are actually, I got them at the Dollar Tree a long time ago, and they're actually just uh, a scarf. I got oh, four of them, one for each of the windows on the inside here in the body of the van. And I just got them secured up there with little, little pins. And uh, again, you know, it's got the pink going on there, and it's got a cactus, so it's really it's got some black in there, so it really goes in with my, with my style, with the colors and everything. So I love that, and it's just a little something, something there, and it doesn't get in the way. Uh, just a little something for color. Um, so I do have the blackout curtain. Um, the way I've got mine fixed, I've got it on a, a bungee cord. So all the whole curtain, and there's like two pieces. I actually hemmed this to fit um, because it was too long. So I did, um, and y'all know I don't sew. So I hot glued that baby. You know, I hot glued it. So anyway, the whole curtain is on the um, bungee cord. And so when I'm parked up, you know, for the night and I want the privacy, I just uh, unhook this one side over to the other side. And there I have my privacy curtain. Okay. So I'm gonna step in here. Well, if I do, you know, if you guys can see real good or not, I can do it from out here. Um, <clears throat> so right here, of course, is the Luggable Lou, AKA five gallon bucket uh, with the toilet seat. And you all, if, you, um, if you've been following along, you saw where, uh, and here I did use, um, it was the little, gosh, what's it called? Hang on. It's the little, um, Gosh, what is it called? Oh, it's a little collapsible commode is what it is. And I love that. And I still um, I still use that in certain cases, in certain situations. Um, I had it in here for a long time using it because it's so compact and it's short. And it's great. <laughs> but um, I've been ha having some trouble with my left knee, especially. And it's a little bit hard uh, to use that. So I went back, I just took this the five gallon bucket out of the van. And in the van, you guys, when I had the van, it came with a cassette toilet. And I mean, it was brand new, but I just never did care for that. I never did care for the, that, you know, you have to empty the tank and all that. And it's just not, it's just not something I ever used. And again, for me, the five gallon bucket um, for the toilet worked better than anything for me. But now the little uh, collapsible commode um, it's on the same concept as the Ottomans. And I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Gosh, I can't think of what the actual name of it is. I've had it on my channel before about oops, on some of the favorite things I've listed. But why I got that to even start with is, um, I got it so it's easy to pack like in a suitcase because there's going to be, I've got, um, a trip or two planned to where I will fly. I plan to fly and then rent a van or SUV and just check all the gear that I need in a big suitcase. And um, that was one of the items. And I bought it specifically for that, really, um, because it's gonna be, you know, you can collapse it right down and you can put it right in a suitcase. So uh, that's the reason I bought it, but it's very, very handy. But this is what I decided to use in the van. Now it takes up a little more space. It takes up a little bit more space because of the height, but it is worth it. And it can also be used as a stool. So I think I'm gonna get something, you know, like to cover it, like a little cushion or, you know, something with some fabric coming down to where, it, you know, maybe it would look better or whatever, but I don't really need it. But anyway, uh, here's a bag right here I keep. It's a, 
it's a mesh bag. I keep that uh, for fruit. Uh, you know, if I'm traveling, gonna be gone for a few days, want some fruit, I'll just put it in that bag so I can get air to it. Um, <clears throat> down here is my portable 12 volt fridge that I got just this past year that I love, love, love. And it is a UMI, E-U-H-O-M-Y, I think. And if you guys um, have been following along, you see I did an un unboxing of that um, when it came in because I had searched forever to try to find the right fridge and I love that little fridge. Um, it's done great. And I had to um, have the specs, you know, uh, a certain width and, and height and everything to fit into this space right here with this table that I was using. So it works great. Uh, it is kind of small, but for me, it's all I need right now. And I believe if I got a bigger one, um, I wouldn't hesitate to get the same model because so far it's been great or the same brand. Over here, this is um, a retro um, Coleman cooler that I love. Somebody, a very dear friend gave that to me one time. And so I just keep all my dry goods in here. So it's the real deal. This is like, uh, you know, late 60s, early 70s. I love this, I love the color. So that's where all my dry goods go. And then a, a refrigerator for the cold stuff. And what else? Okay, so right here, I love Route 66. You guys, I've I've been I've been a fan of Route 66 for, ever since I learned about it, and uh, I've been on parts of it several times. But it is on my bucket list to do uh, one end to the other, and I can't I I, I can't do it, you know, because I'm still working right now. But I do plan on doing that eventually. But when I saw this, I had to have it. <laughs> And this is just a little ottoman, and it is collapsible. And that's this is exactly how the co little collapsible, collapsible commode works, the way I was telling you, only it is shorter. Um, and you just, you know, I would put a, um, I had a, um, well, I did have like a coffee, plastic coffee can in there for a while, and then I had like a little collapsible bucket. It's the same concept. But in here, what I keep in here is all my um, bathroom stuff. So I have toilet paper, extra tissue, uh, even if I'm going to put this little Route 66 thing out somewhere and put a little plant in it or something, but um, tissue, um, and I have, if y'all have watched my toilet system, you'll see how I, how I do things, and there is um, um, in here in this bag, or if there's the diapers, and then I also do the um, pine shavings. Uh, that's what I use instead of kitty litter. I've got some bleach in here. I put a couple drops of bleach in the um, in the Lugga Baloo five gallon bucket there. There is some poopery. Um, so, and towels and wash rags. So that's everything related to the bathroom. And it's really convenient. And I just, you know, covered up with this lid. And there you've got a decorative seat. Uh, and, you know, something to put your feet on when you're sitting in the on the couch there. Um, <clears throat> This right here came out of the camper. <coughs> I got this on a trip somewhere. And it is a... <coughs> it's pollen, you guys. It's killing me. Um, a little plastic bag holder. Hold your plastic bags there. And it has uh, all kinds of little vintage campers and vans on it. I love that. So that's right there. Um, here is... And I need to replace the batteries. But here is... Uh, a light switch, Harbor Freight Special. <laughs> you guys, everybody's got these, don't they? My batteries are out, but I have that right here so I can flip that up uh, just immediately when I walk into the van. Over here, in this little cubby back here, I have a battery-operated candle. I love to have set that out um, when, you know, nighttime it's going, so I love that. And um, what else? Over here, under my couch slash bed, is a large collapsible bucket uh, that is used to wash up um, you know I just put water and soap or whatever in there and you can do a little uh, um, wash off or whatever you need to do very handy um, you can do whatever you know carry water for that wherever you need I love that the collapsible stuff is awesome so in here if you guys watched a video I did not long ago about what do you do to pass the time in your van or your RV when it's raining and bad outside? <laughs> well, there's a lot of things you could do. Uh, one of them is play music, which is what I do if I have an instrument in here. But I got some classic toys. I got my 
barrel of monkeys. I got an etch sketch in here. You know, I'm a child of the 70s. And, uh, and I have um, a little journal in there because I love to write. I've got a magazine. I got magazines back there on the Western. I can plan trips. I can do all kinds of things in here. Uh, do my devotionals, read devotionals, read the Bible. Um, so I always have and that's my little cubby there for those kinds of things. Cards, love to play cards if you got people to play with or whatever. Now back here is um, my couch slash bed. And you all. So what the padding is under here, it's what I already already had you guys um, in the um and the other configuration. I had a lawn chair in here at one point uh, before I had the uh, cot. And this is like three, I think, no, this was just two here? Two, yeah, this is two very thick um, lounge cushions for like a long lounge chair is what that is. And so <clears throat> instead of, you know, buying another foam mattress or something like that, which I had one in the camper and I just left it in there for the gal who bought it, but, um, so I just use those and they, it's perfect. And because, and the reason the, uh, the, um, the, the cot thing didn't work, work for me is because it sagged too much in the middle. It just did. And, uh, this bench seat provides the support, uh, underneath of those cushions. So it works perfectly for me. It's really, I don't need much room. It's just very uh, cozy. Of course, I've got probably too many pillows. I mean, Okay, so up there is a little neck fan that I use. I do not use on my neck. I use it in here. It's a little uh, USB rechargeable fan, and I'm telling you right now, it has two settings on it, and you wouldn't believe the air that, that puts out. It just is really great when you're laying here and you just need a, uh, some air on you. I also have another USB fan, a larger one, and a battery-operated fan. So between those and having the windows cracked, yeah, I just don't, you know, that's all I need. So... <clears throat> Get up here where y'all can see this. Up here, this basket right here, this wicker basket. This was a gift from a friend of mine who uh, who had a, a a dinner party, and it was all based on uh, on the uh, Golden Girls. And you remember Sophia who carried <laughs> who carried the um, the bag, the wicker bag. Well, that's that was our parting gift there. So uh, I thought it was really cute, and uh, so I keep my toiletries in that. So you know, so and shampoo and toothpaste and toothbrush and all that and I just hang it up there uh, when I am getting ready and there's a mirror here too if you can see that I have one of these mirrors that um, <clears throat> has the extendable arm comes out so it tilts however you need it and it just folds back in there out of the way and I have that secured if you can see um, the uh, edge of it there it just goes down into the plastic piece there and I've secured it with a um, zip tie which I couldn't live without zip ties and bungees really I'm telling you so uh, when uh, when I'm not using the toiletries then I just take take it off the hook there and I put it back down into this where I've got room with that for the um, all with the bathroom stuff so that is about it for here. Uh, like I said, I probably do need to get rid of some of these pillows. There's a little bit too many. These cowboy pillows, which I love, uh, came out of the camper. I didn't have them in here initially, but they came out of the camper and they're very dear to me. Um, uh, my cousin-in-law, I guess you could call her, gave me those years ago and she's passed away now, so it's very special. The pink one is just uh, because it's got a little, you know, little vibe, little hippie 60s, 70s vibe here. And that one, the Take It Easy, of course, my, my friend got me that. Thanks, Mary. I love it. And uh, based on the song. <laughs> so, um, and I just used a sheets I already had. It's got the gray in it. And up there is another, um, it's a pillowcase I already had that has, it's got the, um, they're pastel colors, but it is like an Aztec uh, Indian print, which I love. So, I got, you know, again, just use what you have. And uh, I'm not one for, um, going out and having to get everything, you know, but uh, use what you got. I'm going to go around to the other side. Okay, so back over here on the uh, passenger side. Also, this is where I keep, uh, I didn't mention that, I keep a, 
a windshield uh, reflector here. So, I, you know, any, you all know about space. Any space, any little piece of space that you can put something, there's a place for something, you know. And this right here is a hook, like, for, you know, to hang the Lucy light on or any other kind of light or whatever. So, I'll keep that right there. And it's out of the way there. Now, on this side... And this is where I'm going to make some changes later, but I just, I'm gonna go ahead. I just wanna show y'all basic, my basic setup, what I've got now. Uh, this little this little uh, slot here is where I keep my, my camp stove. And I do have a Coleman butane stove, like so many pe other people have. It's one of the best purchases of us I've ever made. It's been on my favorite, <laughs> favorite things list there for last year or whenever it was. It's amazing. Um, so this is my kitchen, basically. And it is kind of messy right now, but I have a big basket here and I have, you know, just a frying pan and I have, there is my, it was hanging on something. That's my, one of my Y'all Gone Camping merch mugs. Don't wait to live. Y'all know I sign off with that all the time on my blog and my YouTube channel. And, you know, plates and bowls, um, this little camp skillet. Y'all have seen me use that. It fold, the handle folds up. I love that. I've got a couple things here that sticks on your a table, like or to, a place to hold a drink if you're somewhere where you don't have a good place to hold your drink. And just, you know, plastic cups, got toilet, uh, uh, paper towels, got my little uh, USB blender here, foil clips. And I, I had a little pocket thing that came off something else, so I just secured that onto the side of the basket and that's where I keep my utensils and the, um, scissors and can opener, um, sandwich bags. I've got a lighter here. Um, and like I said, this needs to be straightened up a little bit actually before I head out again. And out oh, right here's a, another thing that come out of the camper that I've had for years that I love. I don't know if I can get it out or not. Oh. Anyway, it's just a tray. It's a metal tray, and it all it has legends of the West on it. And it has pictures of all the legendary Western uh, people on it. And there's a place for my dish towel. So, anyway, that's all in that one basket. So, it's a pretty good-sized basket, and it holds a lot. Well, over here, and like I said, when this is, well, when it's got water in it, it stays put pretty much. But it's empty right now. But I have two of these. Uh, I keep one right here for water, um, like to uh, wash up with, do your dishes with, or whatever. Uh, and when it's, uh, I can just fold it down like that and use the spout. Um, so that comes in really handy. Uh, and I secure it with the bungee cords, which is kind of going crazy right now. There you go. So here is another basket, and this is strictly my coffee, my coffee basket. And it's smaller, and it has a, a little mini electric uh, coffee pot. It also has my um, coffee pot that I use on the fire, on the campfire, and on the butane stove. And I use these. I've, I've even got a video, you all, about my favorite coffee method on the road. And if you've watched that, you know that my favorite thing is using these um, the uh, filter packs. Uh, because you can use them in, in whatever kind of whether it's a an old time um pot like this or a coffee pot or even just a kettle you can use the same thing and i love that and folders is the only thing i use and and just stuck in there right now which i've got to put that somewhere else but i do have have a um power strip here and i've got one i've actually got two in here and there's one back here um and I place them. I actually got to kind of replace this one. This kind of this is kind of the one that's kind of toward the up front and the kitchen stuff. And the one back here is for like fans and the heater or whatever. So that's what I did there. And so this table, uh, this table was also like I said, use what you have. I had this table. This was a another uh, thing I've had for a while. Uh, belonged to a friend of mine, and it had like a little uh, wooden piece, like you know that went. Uh, across here uh, that you could set stuff on the bottom and I took that off uh, because I wanted to be able to slide the fridge and the dry goods cooler under that so it works perfectly but you all 
I've got another little table. I'm looking at about, I kind of want to change this setup here to kind of straighten this up a little bit, leave me a little more space on the table and go um, a vertical here um, to have some more, you know, take, take advantage of that space going up there to get rid of some of this stuff that's sitting flat. And I do have a table that has a drop leaf on each side. So it would mean that you could bring the leaf up on this side as well as the other. And I'm going to see how that works. I'll let y'all know how that turns out, but that is on the way. Hang on, we'll go to the back. Okay, so back here I have, um, uh, probably have too many blankets too, but you know, when you're sitting out, you know, you got to have something over your legs or whatever. I've got a couple, I've got several little throws. This is a blanket or a quilt my mom made years ago. I've got it in here. Love that. Um, this is a little, actually it's a pencil. If you can see that, it's actually a, a pencil sharpener. that's <coughs> um, made like a little miniature uh, combing uh, <laughs> um, lantern. And my son got me that when he was just a little boy. And uh, I, I had it in the house on my little uh, cook stove forever. And I'm like, this has to go in my camper. You know, there's pieces of a lot of different people in here, um, which is very special. So I put that in there. And so I just put a little bungee cord here from the seatbelt strap over to the other one. And this is where I hook my hats. I mean, got to have my cowboy hat, you guys. You know what I'm saying? And my camp happy camper cap and my visor. And so it's got my caps. And here is my backpack. So I'm out and I want to take a little hike somewhere. My backpack is right there. So I know where everything is, and y'all know how important, you guys who live the van life, you know how important it is to have space for everything. You gotta know where everything is, and you gotta put things back right after you use them. This is a first aid kit. There's a tarp here, and this is the, co the cover uh, to my uh, camp chair. Again, I have um, another throw. I have an electric blanket there, um, which this, well, you know, I take uh, on the seasons, like if I know for sure I'm not going to need an electric blanket, then I'll take that out and put it in the house, you know, free up space. But, and then down here is, right here is an electric lantern. It's got a cowboy on it. My mother got me that years ago. So I'll have that up, you know, at a campground or wherever where I've got shore power. Down here is, um, I have bins for like, um, um, bungee cords and clips and, uh, zip ties and you know all those kinds of things and back there is more lanterns um here's tablecloth this is a a little griller put hot dogs and hamburgers in for the campfire and i've got um i also carry a little bag of solar lights so i like to stick those around you know if i'm at a campsite um and it just kind of <coughs> you know brightens up your little area wherever you're parked um, so yeah, I have, okay, I got a whole bin down there that I keep <coughs> little binder clips too when I put up my outdoor lights. I've got some little, um, uh, outdoor lantern lights that I put, uh, have, uh, I put along a, a little tent that I have. <laughs> my ticket booth tent, as I call it. If y'all been following along, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I have a little four by six, um, shade tent. And I'll set that out uh, if I'm going to be there a while and I put the lights around it and it's really super cool. Here is my sleeping bag. And again, I don't keep it in here all the time, but uh, it, it, well, it does serve as another pillow. Like if I need, you know, a good backrest or something. And I just put the whole sleeping bag in that, in that pillowcase that matches that one over there. This is my treasured lawn chair. This is a real deal. This is retro, you guys aluminum lawn chair that I've had. A friend gave me that and I love to set that out. It's lightweight and I, I can stretch out on that. I just love that. And of course got just a regular fold up camp chair. Gotta have that too. Here's another large blanket. You guys, I've got too many blankets. Uh, there is another USB fan and rope and bug candle and what is that down there? Oh, that's a fire starter. Got fire starter. And there's a, a little fan. And there is another water container. And there is my my little heater that looks like a fireplace. You guys have seen that um, on some of my other videos. There is a um, battery operated fan down there and a little step stool. There is a hot dog roaster. And I keep my lawn chair 
right in this corner. And you know, when you get when you get all this down, and it takes a while. If you guys have been doing this, and I'm sure you have, or you wouldn't be watching this. But it takes a while to figure all this out, don't it? I mean, you got to figure out where everything is. Uh, you got, it, it, it's ongoing. You got to find out what is right for you and the best setup and it, it's never ending. But uh, once you get get an initial setup going, uh, it's, it's really easy. You know, you got to put, put everything back as soon as you use it. That is key because if you start getting stuff strewn all over the place, it's a nightmare. So that is about it, y'all. I can't think of anything else. Um, I just wanted to share that with you. Like I said, I've had this set up for a while now and it's worked great. Uh, I am gonna try to redo that little kitchen area. Uh, I actually saw something at the dollar store today that I think might work. Um, I may try that. Um, so just something that would give me a little more room on the counter, counter space area and uh, to use that vertical space behind that seat to put some kitchen stuff. So anyway, the adventure continues, right? It never, never ends. And I'm so excited. So I've got some trips coming up and I um, hope you guys are doing well. Um, I just, I just had another thing that bothered me today. I, I, I passed, you guys know, you probably know where I've talked about, I'm a big history buff. And um, I'm, I'm a huge, huge, a supporter of historical preservation. Um, strongly believe in that. I cannot understand why people cannot see that, but in my area, my region, um, I just lost another beautiful old historic home that has so much history to it. I mean, the James gang stayed there at one point after they had robbed a bank in the area, and it's right on the river, and there was a uh, it was known as a uh, Moore's Beach, and uh, people would come there as a recreation place. The wealthy would, at one time, and now it's gone. I went by there, and um, it, it's gone. And I am just killed. I mean, it really, really, oh, it really bothered me. I, I'm, I just cannot understand it, and I just cannot understand why that can't be. Things like that can't be preserved for generations to enjoy, and. It could still be a money maker, you know, for the community, uh, but they just don't see it somehow. They just don't see it, and it kills me to my soul. Anyway, uh, that's it for the van tour. I want to tell you guys, too, if you've been following along on the blog, um, you guys are going to be now known as Gal Pals. Um, instead of Hello Friends, I'm going to start it with Hello Gal Pals, because you all are my pals. And if you subscribe, you're an extra favorite pal, right? <laughs> So if you haven't already, subscribe here to the channel at Galgon Camping and hop over to the Galgon Camping uh, website and follow along on the blog there. I hope to do with that more later. Um, so I'll be posting some more stuff on that coming up. I uh, just uh, not long ago uh, stumbled onto a fantastic uh, product. I think you guys are going to love it. So I'll be doing a, um, a product review on that coming up. Uh, what else? Uh, another little recent find I found. Um... I'll be putting some information on that and um, all kinds of fun here, you guys. All kinds of fun. Always something going on. So be sure and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And like, share, comment if you would. I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking. And, uh, you know, if you have some any, any ideas that you think I could use here in this minivan, please share them. Especially the kitchen. kitchen. I need some more kitchen storage or something for, you know, uh, vertical space. Um that is about it. Another thing I mentioned on the blog is uh, you may see a singing camper here pretty soon. I'm going to incorporate uh, something else into some of these videos. So, you know, I'm just teasing y'all. You got to stay tuned and find out what is going on here with the gal, y'all. So have a wonderful, wonderful evening, and I will talk to you later. If you got any value of this, hit the thumbs up for me and show this gal some love. See you later. Don't wait to live. Remember, don't wait to live. See you down the road.